again, Lauren Messiah, your personal fashion stylist, and we are still inside the Seven Deadly Sins of Style video series. Say that three times fast. Yes, back in the series. Okay, so today's sin, this one like boils my blood the most. Sloth, okay? So when I think of sloth and I think of style, I think of laziness and the excuse of, well, I just wanna be comfortable, or I don't have time. Girl, you're lazy, okay? <laughs> Sloth. I looked it up and it said the reluctance to work or make an effort as the definition. Laziness, pure and simple. So, I have a friend, and she will remain nameless, and she'll probably murder me for even mentioning this on video, but, I want to make her over so bad. She puts zero effort into her look. A zero. Like wearing gym clothes that have like pit stains in them, her high school gym uniform like she still has and like rocks on the reg. Her style is lazy to the max. There is no effort put in it whatsoever. Now, a lot of people that are friends with me or that like run in my circles, they get really scared when they're around me because they're like, oh my God, Lauren's like, in, works in fashion, she's totally judging my style. I'm not, I'm really not a judger when it comes to style. I'm not looking people up and down and thinking of what I can do to improve unless they put zero effort in themselves, zero. So this is the only friend that I'm just like, please let me help you. And she doesn't want to be helped, so. The day that she decides, I'm here for you, and I'm so ready for this makeover. To me, putting no effort and just pure laziness into your wardrobe is just like a double middle fingers to your life. It's disrespectful to your friends, it's disrespectful to your job, to your husband, to your boyfriend, to your girlfriend, whatever. It just shows, I don't care. My comfort and my needs and my just I don't give a damn mentality overrides anything else. So it's like when I show up to the movies with, I'll just call her gym clothes friend. When I go to the movies with her and other friends, like we're all dressed, we're ready to go out to eat, you know, we're like doing the whole thing. And she's just like there, like I don't care about any of you. I will embarrass you. I will look like I smell bad even though I don't. It's just wrong. So I'm begging you to please put a little effort into your look. And if your excuse is comfort, which like if I had a nickel for every time someone said, well, I just want to be comfortable. You can be comfortable and still be stylish or at least look like you tried, okay? You don't have to be this walking, fashion plate, you just need to look like you tried. So I'm gonna give you a few tips to look like you gave a damn, okay? <laughs> Tip number one is put on at least one thing that says style, just like one thing. Like you could have on a, a sweatsuit, okay? Let's hope it fits nice and that it's clean. And you could put on like a cool necklace and like a together pair of shoes and it looks like you tried, okay? So whether it's a hat, a necklace, it could even be lipstick, it could be a pair of heels, like you can take a really comfortable look and just add like one tiny thing that says, yes, I tried. Like the days that I'm not gonna like wear any makeup and I just put on a really simple look, I'll just put on a pair of heels. It's not that big a deal. And they can be comfortable. Like, I'm wearing heels right now that are totally comfortable. I got a nice wide little base on them. We're all good. But it gives like that extra, okay, Lauren cares, okay? So that's tip number one. Tip number two is just add a layer. You would be surprised at how much difference one simple layer makes in your look. So if you're wearing like a plain t-shirt and just plain pants, Put on a little cardigan that's got a pop of color, or put on a leather jacket, a denim jacket, a cute blazer. 
Just because you're wearing a layer, that doesn't mean that it's not comfortable. Like, buy clothes that feel good on you. Great fabric, great fit. It doesn't have to be like constructing and binding and terrible, but adding on one more layer really helps pull together your style. And then tip number three, please don't be afraid of makeup and a hairbrush, okay? You don't have to be a full-on glamazon but just that little bit of effort of like putting on, you know, covering up your pimples for the day. Sure, maybe you're cool with your pimples and other people might be too, but it really affects your whole look when you're just rocking like uneven skin, bags under your eyes. So a little bit of makeup, doing a little something with your hair, whether that is actually doing your hair, if you're too lazy for that, get a style that you don't have to put that much effort in. Like when it comes to hair, I cannot stand doing my hair. I, it, I hate it. That is like my slothiness is hair. So I always make sure that like I get a hairstyle that's easy to maintain so I can look put together. And then for me, like my signature style, obviously, if you've been watching this channel, you've figured it out, is hats. So that is something that helps me feel put together and helps, you know, my hair be a part of the look. So hair and makeup really go a long way. So just to review, add a layer, add one stylish element, and do your freaking hair and makeup. And then you're good. You could be as comfortable and sloppy as you want. Just add those little tweaks and then you won't be committing this heinous sin that makes me so angry. Don't make me walk down the street and see your little pit stains, cause I will freak out on you. I should just start picking people off the street and be like, you know what? You're too lazy, I gotta make you over, sorry. All right, so that is the jam on that deadly sin. There are more sins to come, so please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, cause I don't want you to miss a single video in this series or a single video, period. I've got fashion questions that you guys submit in the comments and I answer them right here on video, other series, and just like a whole bunch of excitement. So get your subscribe on and I will catch you in the next video.